ringing. Stop ringing, I'm coming! What? Hi, Rex. Is it a bad time? No, come in, bless you. Yeah. Oh, bless you! Yeah. Oh, hey, if I knew you were coming, I would have worn a towel. Even the sound of my own voice is too loud. What brings you by? I can't reach Gigi in Paris, and I've got to talk to somebody about what happened at the party last night. Is this about Echo? Did you ever find her? Echo? You mean Echo de Savoy? My biological mother? Well, Clint. So I walk in, and Echo's practically holding a press conference, announcing to everybody that she's my mom. And then, you know, she sees me, and she's all like, oops, you weren't supposed to hear that. Oh, so is it true? Who knows? I, I, can't even, I can't even think straight, knowing that that woman could be my mom. She's like a nightmare. Well, okay, did she at least tell you who your dad is? Yeah, she narrowed it down to two lucky contestants. Charlie Banks or Clint Buchanan. What? Are you kidding me? I wish. So are you going to find out which one it is? Looks that way. Vicky demanded a DNA test from Echo, Charlie, and Clint. We'll find out soon enough if this is true. So what are you doing? I don't know, Rex. I think it's a win-win. Aside from Echo, I think that Clint and Charlie are, are both terrific guys. Are you serious? I'd rather be nobody's son than Clint Buchanan's. Okay. What is your problem with Clint? You s Can we just drop this? No, we can't. You know why? Because every time Clint comes up, you have something negative to say about him. Why? He is a fantastic father. He's been nothing but warm and generous to me for the most part. I know, and Natalie loves him. It's just... I wish I could reach Gigi. You, you still don't think she's mad at you, do you? Hopefully not. She left me a drunk but affectionate voicemail last night. I took that as a good sign. Oh, my God. What? Oh, no. Whoa, why are you so upset that Gigi drunk that? Not Gigi, me. Me. I drunk dialed last night, too. You did? Who? Joey! I left an extremely embarrassing... No, several extremely embarrassing messages telling him how I feel about him. I think the word naked might have been used. Has he called you back? No! I don't know. I was too afraid to call him back, so I gave my phone to Blair. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Let's find it. I bet he called. away from me all right just tell me if joy left me a message okay let's see he didn't call it's still early in london actually it is later sure yeah it was when i lived there oh you should have heard what i said joy must think i'm a complete idiot still the same lovesick adolescent no, worse, that I have turned into a lunatic spinster who will die alone along with the 300 cat! Kelly, get a grip! You probably didn't get the message. You really think so? Sure, yeah. The overseas cell calls are uh, weird. You know, satellites are tricky. How am I going to find out? Come on. Call him again. Ugh. As I recall, Echo was very clear last night. She said there was no chance that I could be Rex's father. I don't see any point in speculating. The DNA test will tell us exactly what we need to know. So where is Rex? I'm right here. Oh, good. Well, let's get this over with. Let's see. We're, um, we're here to determine paternity for uh, Rex Balsam. Are all the involved parties present? Yes, yes, they're here. And are you all ready to provide your DNA samples? I'm not. I don't want to do this, so I'm not going to.